Tyranny is here. The grim future foretold in 1984 has become reality. It really says that the state is God. The United States is now recognized globally as one of the most oppressive police states on earth. This film conclusively proves the existence of a secret network of FEMA camps now being expanded nationwide. This documentary exposes how the continuity of government program has established an all-powerful shadow state. Police State 4 chronicles the sickening depths to which our republic has fallen. Prepare to enter the secret of world of emergency dictatorship. Body scanners, sound cameras, citizen spies, stage terror, and cameras on every street corner. It's only the beginning of the New World Order's hellish plan. The police state isn't coming. It's here. Secure your copy today at Infowars.com or see it online in the highest quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. Hi folks, this is Alex Jones, and I want to tell you about the Silver Lungs Generator. Now you can produce pure and endless colloidal silver and deliver the solution directly into the bloodstream by breathing the solution through the lungs. The respiratory system is the first line of defense for airborne pathogens and viruses. The Silver Lungs Generator infuses the respiratory system with your self-produced nano-silver solutions and also delivers the silver nanoparticles instantly into the bloodstream. With continued legislation threatening the sale of nano-silver products, you can now produce pure and endless colloidal silver with the Silver Lungs Generator. Very easy to follow step-by-step instructions are provided, making production fast and simple. Go to www.silverlungs.com today and learn more about the breakthrough technology of the Silver Lungs Generator. That's www.silverlungs.com. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Leading a frontal assault on the lies of the New World Order, it's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. If we've got more people that mindlessly want to disagree... 888-201-2244. And you heard that guy. And we had him on hold during the break. They didn't know if I wanted to let him go yet. And I could hear him rambling about, there'll be turbulence at first, but once we have the world government, it'll be fine. He was still talking, not even knowing we'd ended uh, that segment. I hear this constantly. You know, we're going to have a world government. It's going to be loving. It's going to give you peace. I'm going to put on screen the Financial Times of London article by their foreign desk editor, titled, And Now for World Government. And he goes on to say it's authoritarian, that they've built it in secret, but that it's for our own good. What have all these major top environmentalists said lately? The public's too dumb to pass global carbon taxes. We have to do it whether they want it or not. And who are the carbon taxes paid to? The very same central banks that have engineered the collapse. It's feudalism. It's control. Remember the SPP, North American Union documents that came out a few years ago? How the main order of business of the Canadian, U.S., and Mexican government is to keep the merger of our country secret, the merger of our infrastructures and our military secret from the public. North American integration by stealth, that's in the Council on Foreign Relations, white papers as well on the subject. North American integration by stealth. See... We don't want this, even though you went to college and somebody patted you on the head and said, you're an intellectual because big corporations fund this university and they want to set up their own global, unelected, unaccountable government. And then we tell you that you're liberal and trendy and smart because you want globalism. We've seen what globalism is. It's war and tyranny and death and the international community going around and attacking defenseless nations. It's U.N. rape gangs running child slavery and white slavery operations worldwide. I mean, read your headlines. Globalization is BP bossing our government around. Look at Europe. The people there have unanimously voted. They don't want GMO crops. They don't want it. They want to decide what they're going to eat. Their government caves in through globalism and goes ahead and does it. So the global government that you want so dearly is being set up. In fact, here's a Raw Story article today. Study. 
IMF document illustrates plan to raise global currency. It's no secret that many of the world's largest industrialized nations are somewhat eager to ease their reliance on the U.S. dollar. For months, China and Russia have pushed ever suddenly for a new global reserve currency to give governments around the world enhanced economic stability in the event of greater fluctuations in the dollar's value. And it goes on that the IMF and World Bank are calling for a global currency run by the private banks, SDRs. A 35-page exploration and footnotes, the IMF strategy, policy and review department lays out how and why global currency, which would move from inside money as the SDR to an outside money that is traded by governments. So the very global banks that want the world government and are financing the open borders, everything, they now want to issue their own currency that you must use and then have government sign on that they lose control of their economic destiny and their monetary destiny. I mean, we already have had the Federal Reserve for 97 years since 1913 running our fiscal policy and giving themselves incredible power. They literally have an Aladdin's lamp of private money creation for themselves. It's a fraud. And Ken Lay and Bernie Madoff and BP under Clinton came out with the idea of a global carbon tax to fund these SDRs, and you think it's a great idea. Well, the good news is the population's been educated and they don't want it, so the globalists are trying to do it by stealth. So understand, I don't live under what system you want just because you're a control freak. All right, let's go to your calls quickly now. Rob and Mass, you're on the air. Go ahead. Uh, Alex, uh, thank you again for having me on. I have a uh, constitutional question for you regarding the uh, federal government's uh, lawsuit against the state of Arizona. Okay. Okay. My question is on the interpretation of Article 2, Section 4 of the Constitution uh, uh, under the executive par uh, powers regarding disqualification. Well, I don't... Can I read it to you to, put it, to give it some context? Sure. All right. As it's, uh, as it's written, Section 4, Disqualification. The President, the Vice President, and all civil officers of the United States shall be removed from office on impeachment for and conviction of treason, bribery, and other high crimes. And then it goes on to say, if they sue a state or a private citizen on behalf of a foreign power, it is treason. And we wrote an article about that a month ago. Uh, and it is treason. Uh, they're not, the federal government is not allowed to sue an individual or state or government agency on behalf of a, of a foreign power. Okay, yes, sir. Now, with that in mind, um, shouldn't our elected officials or, or, or our soldiers or even our people kind of see this and say, hey, wait a minute, he just removed himself from office just by, just by filing the lawsuit and going forward with it? Yeah, you're talking about so the, you're, you're like talking the, about You're talking about, and, and by the way, those same powers are in the Ninth uh, Amendment and Tenth Amendment. Yes, they are. That's right. But by by violating Article 11, does not Article 2, Section 4 apply? Where it's like, wait a minute, these guys, they just, they, they totally tipped over the first domino by, su by suing Arizona for doing... But they the don't care. Yeah, we've had, what, four of the nine uh, members of the Supreme Court, one of them has been replaced by Kagan now, write that they follow U.N. law. And if you've read the U.N. Declaration of Human Rights, Article 30 says that you have none of the previous rights they mention when the U.N. feels like it. This, right. this is a tyranny. No, uh, Rob, great points. But that's the issue. You have global offshore corporations that individually, many of them have bigger GDPs than most governments. Now they're combining forces with over $100 billion in this Bill Gates Foundation, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, and in the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, most of it goes to fund globalization, international takeover of curriculum and schools, uh, vaccines, birth control, sterilization. And so th this global government is private. And so they use the hordes of illegal aliens that they brought in, that they put on welfare, as their political attack dog. I mean, it's very elementary. It's treason. And yes, it's divide it's, and conquer. It is. Yes, it is divide and conquer. Rob, I appreciate your call. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to uh, Brian in Texas. You're on the air, Brian. Hey, Alex. How's it going? Good. I am so thankful for what you're doing. God bless you. Uh, what I wanted to talk about was yesterday uh, I dropped my wife off at the airport, and we were already prepared for this whole naked body scanner thing. I printed out your article, just like you said, and when we went up for the uh, security check, I showed him to the guy. I said, is she going to have to walk through one of these body scanners? He says, no, but 
before the end of the year, they'll be everywhere. And I said, not if this lawsuit passes. And he looked at me kind of strange. Didn't know what I was talking about. I said, do you realize the amount of radiation you're getting off of these things? And he just kind of put his head down into his book and just kind of ignored me, wouldn't talk to me. Well, I mean, if, you know, I mean, if he says core exit won't hurt him or if he says asbestos on 9-11 won't hurt him or if he says radiation won't hurt him, then I guess it won't. He's like Superman. He can, he can just magically, like a genie, say Shazam. And, you know, I love genie. She pops up and he says, hey, genie, will you make this radiation not hurt me? And she says, you bet. It's just so sad that even uh, someone working there doesn't want to know the effects of what they're dealing with. I offered him the articles uh, from Infowars.com. He wouldn't even take them. Well, we've got to get the word out. And the good news is the airlines are against it because it's hurt upwards of 20% of their travel in the last year. Uh, there's lawsuits over it. I appreciate your call. And since you mentioned that, the TSA was in the Chicago Tribune two months ago saying yes. By 2011, mid-year, so about a year from now, they said everyone will be forced through these. Now, it's already being done in El Paso. The El Paso Times reported on that a month ago. Kurt Nemo wrote about it earlier this week at Infowars.com. We got listener tips that everyone was being forced through it. He searched the term and found out Shazam. Uh, I'm going to get addicted to saying that now, like Gulmer Pyle, uh, that uh, you know, there it is. And they're making everybody there as a test uh, here in Texas do that. And I have the New York Times uh, here today, radiation questions over a body scanner. But it goes in about two years, and what I've read in federal documents is about a year now, if all goes according to plans, they will replace all of the lie detectors with it, and everyone will be forced at 2,200 security checkpoints at all commercial 450 airports in the United States. So it's gone gone in about 215 within another year and a half, uh, they say two years, 450, 2,200 checkpoints total. You will be forced to have your body recorded naked, to be bathed in radiation, and they do save it, and they're a pack of criminal liars. Why shouldn't they? They already take your baby's blood for 38 years at birth, give it to the Pentagon. And then they patent your blood and sell it to private companies. When you go in for gene therapy, they say, by the way, we've already got your blood. That's how all this came out. So they're stealing your blood. They're stealing naked images of your body. It's a criminal, rogue government that works for offshore banks, setting up a world government to enforce the rape of everyone. They'll be back in a moment. Stay with us. Alex Jones here with urgent information concerning TrendsResearch.com. The Trends Journal distills the voluminous ongoing research of the Trends Research Institute into a concise, readily accessible form. By tracking 300 separately defined domestic and international trends, the Trends Journal establishes the connections that others fail to see or misinterpret. Gerald Salente's Trends Journal allows you to anticipate change, recognize the implications, and take protective strategies. Individual readers from every walk of life can put the Trends Journal Trends Forecast and Trends Analysis to practical use. Extra information to keep you well informed throughout the year. When any current event of major social, economic, or political significance occurs, Trends Journal notifies its subscribers of their implications. When you subscribe to the Trends Journal, you'll also receive Trends Alerts. Visit TrendsResearch.com today. That's TrendsResearch.com. Subscribe to the Trends Journal. This information is too important to wait. This is Alex Jones with five good reasons you should consider buying a solar power generator. Number one, new climate legislation could easily double or triple your electric bill. Number two, our new energy czar wants to control how much power your electric company allows you to have. It's true. Total government control of electricity in the name of smart grid technology is coming. Number three, in some areas of the country, the power grid is dangerously overloaded. And now new socialist legislation is only compounding the problem. Number four, dangerous weather is always a threat to local grids. Every year, thousands of families lose their power from weather-related outages. Number five, a solar power generator provides powerful backup insurance and peace of mind. Folks, I really believe in the solar power generators offered by Solutions from Science, one of my oldest sponsors. You can get more information at www.mysolarbackup.com. That's mysolarbackup.com. Remember, the government doesn't own the sun, so go to mysolarbackup.com or call 1-877-327-0365. Coast to coast, direct from Austin, you're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcast.